Hello, and a very warm welcome to LNT Royal YouTube channel. As patron and founder of Invictus Games, the Duke joined them to congratulate them and discuss the power of sport. The Superhero Series is the UK's one and only disability sports series for the everyday hero. How you doing, Bruno? I am doing good. Actually, it's pretty busy, but uh, it's all uh, all good stuff. Oh, the boss is here. So, there you go, guys. Um, I tried to book um, Captain America, but I managed to get Captain Wales instead. It's the... Uh... Even better. <laughs> well, the, 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 ban the banter certainly hasn't improved in the last few months, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello. Hey! Hi, How's Marcus? everyone? Hey, are you, are you, are you, are you, you're in Australia, are you? Yeah. I don't sleep much, but it's 6.30 in the morning. And don't blame me, blame JJ. It's near my bedtime here. That's that's what it is. Good to see you all back together, though. Yeah, we yeah. did an insane amount of miles. It is. It was... These three came up with the idea, and then I joined in afterwards. So... Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a shock to me that we were all signed up for 500 kilometers plus, but we just grinded them out. It felt good being part of a team again with these guys, and we were chatting on WhatsApp and joking around, and it gets you motivated. And when you see Bruno put up his stats, you go, oh, I've got to go and, and do a ride now and do it over his. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> with lockdown and everything else that's been going on and the Hague being uh, postponed as well, Surely this was an amazing opportunity for you guys to, to come together, not only to do the physical side, which is you know, improving your mental fitness, but to be together as a team doing something like this and having a goal and a purpose and, and a, to some extent a distraction from uh, the day-to-day -day life. I did about a third of my miles with my family. That was the really lovely thing. You know, I've always said that people ask me if I still want to compete and, and I said, actually, at the end of the day, I just want to be able to ride my bike with my daughter. And she turned four yesterday. So that was amazing. Uh, and you're right, it gave me the routine. You know, it gave me the family time. Then it gave me my alone time to settle down and do that. But, I mean, we've got to commend the fact that Jen has been, you know, grafted away on the front line in a hospital throughout all of this. Like, it's been so good because this is before kind of lockdown and everything. So I'm an anaesthetist. I'm specialised in intensive care. So you know, this, is, this is my four day. Um, is what I've been training kind of 20 odd years to do. Um, so, you know, it's kind of the work side of things that's been obviously quite difficult, but it's just been so nice to kind of get back into the sport and, and you know, you have to exercise your physical health, but also kind of, you know, exercise your physical health and your mental health. And I think, you know, I, I, I probably got a bit, a little bit burnt out to, you know, with the stress of, of the change and, and, and kind of dealing with sort of changing circumstances and this was just something so positive uh, amongst it all that it was just, um, yeah, it was brilliant. For, I guess for, for anybody else watching this who's had a really hard time, whether they've been working on the front line or whether they've been homeschooling their kids or just having their life turns upside down, how can you explain what exercise and sport like this and being part of a team and setting yourself a purpose and a, and a goal, but actually getting outside or, in, or inside, but just doing some form of physical activity, how that reduces the stress and how whatever you bring back from work or whatever you've consumed in your day-to-day -day, day -day life, that you can actually pedal it or sweat it out of you. Reflecting on, on the challenge we did, it was like, no, it's not gonna beat us. We're gonna do this because we set this goal, so yeah. This is the point, right? It's not just being part of the Invictus Games and on a global stage. It is with the simplest of things, but the things that anyone can do. Grab a bike, grab a machine, go for a walk, go for a run, whatever it is. When the foundation reached out, I was like so excited. And when we got on this team and we picked the, 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 the kilometers of 2020 plus one, uh, mm -hmm. it was incredible. But what you said is, is right, is that we don't need the big stage of the Invictus Games. All we needed was us together, talking the way we talk, the shenanigans, the fun, the consistency. Mark was always leading every day doing these things. Jen would show up like working nights, she would go do her thing. JJ was building a, a garage, but we were still got our time in and stuff like that. And actually the, the thing that's been great about this is that we've been part, you know, we've been an Invictus bubble, part of a much bigger collective, the Superhero Triathlon. And the idea that you know you're 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 you know they're side by side with you know kids with disabilities, families, you know, in fact, not even people with disability at that, at that rate as well. Just people that 
of all abilities that wanted to set themselves a challenge in a really difficult time. When you've had the training that, that, that we've all had, and when you've had to go through the, the challenges, the confront the challenges that so many, of, so many of you guys have had, it is in today's world where people need to learn and to be able to learn what resilience is all about, there's no better place to look at than, than, than you guys. And I know you don't, you don't always see it that way. You just see it as doing your job and doing, doing your part to be able to get yourself you know, back on the road for yourself, for your families, for your mates and for everybody else. But there are stories that need to be told, but they're not, they don't just need to be told to encourage other people to, to, to rehabilitate. There's stories that need to be told to, to encourage people to look at sport in a different way, but also to be able to realize every single one of us has that strength inside of us to, to confront anything that, uh, that, that, that comes across us. And you know what, with COVID and the way that everyone's life has changed, what better time to put you guys front and center to say, this is what's happened in my life. That was the dark place that I was in, but look where I am now. You say that a sense of happiness is in yourself as well. You know, I think you've got to love yourself before um, you kind of, you know, can, can kind of look outwards. And I think, you know, part of sport is about redefining who you are and kind of, you know, just competing against yourself. And actually, I think it helps you find that sort of sense of self-worth and, and then be able to kind of re-engage with things. Because I think when you're feeling terrible, you, you, you feel lost. And I think you're not quite sure who you are um, or this new version of you. Um, you know, and I think um, sport's just a great leveler because it doesn't matter what sport you're doing, it doesn't matter how you're doing it, it doesn't matter what adaptions you've got, you know, actually if you do the same thing again and again, you're competing yourself and you're, and you're creating a, um, a target that, that you can find that sense of achievement and I think once you can find that, you know, like Bruno says, you can then, uh, it's infectious and, you know, you can kind of encourage other people. I've been working with Jenny Anderson at, with, and um, Andy um, on the Zwift platform with uh, Invictus Games, we started off early in the COVID, and this is similar to this where I'm talking, where, you know, we joined USMES, and they got like 120 people that join in. They're all veterans on a group ride on virtual reality. I mean, you're sweating it out on your bike, but the best thing is you have a chat channel, and you can be the first rider right at the front of the pack, and you can be, or the last, and the last, but talk to each other, and you telling stories and that's the whole thing about you know it's about that belonging that we all miss and being part of that veteran banter and humor but that's the whole benefit of doing these activities during lockdown and COVID we learned from that it was just fantastic everyone was searching the chat channel before they started their ride because they wanted to get on and talk as well as you know sweat it out for about 20 30 k's but yeah so that's, you, that's yeah. another example of where it's kicked off and IGF uh, have taken it to a further level, which is fantastic. The level of adaption that, that we've had to find as a result of COVID, it reminds you that whilst we've been enforced in lockdown for this period, there are people with a level of disability who live in lockdown all the time. There are people who are bedridden, you know, that are bed bound. There are people you know, that have you know, severe disabilities that, that don't allow them to have a, what we term a normal life, whatever it may be. And so the fact that this, this community has become you know, virtual has completely leveled the playing field. And there's a lot that we can learn from it. And you know, we'll, we'll, we, I, then long may this type of thing actually continue. Because you're right, how do we have a community outside of that amazing week of the games? You know, how do we continue to feel that impact? And I think, you know, I think there's some great blueprints to be learned from all this. I was just going to say that it's so, it's so important to know that if you're if you're going to have a bad day, if you've if you've had a bad week, or you or you've experienced more trauma or another loss or more stress in your life that you've got at the thing at your fingertips, whether it's a WhatsApp group, whether it's a, an online uh, you know support group or whatever it is, or whether it's just the Invictus community, you've always got one, well not even one, you've always, I guess, if you're gonna nod and agree, you've got at least a handful of people that you can reach out to. And yeah. some, some of you may never need it again, arguably all of us want to have or want to, want to feel the comfort to know that we've got it in case we need it. Um, but I think more than anything else, as we touched on as well, you've got the, the, the banter there and you know that if you haven't heard from someone for a while, that the first, the first thing you need to do is, is check in on them because just because your life is sort of on track and everything's going sort of according to plan, 
there's other people that you may not have heard of and you check in, you might not, or you might, you might just get the, the, you know, the answer of, yeah, I'm fine. But you guys are the ones that are going to dig a little bit deeper and say, fine is not, is not the answer that I was looking for. I actually need to, I'm actually asking how you are. Um, and it is, it's, 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 it's stressful. The injuries that you guys have sustained anyway is one part of it, but then how everybody's being forced to live now, it's, um, it's really, really different. We're planning a reunion in The Hague. That's what we're doing. Yeah, we're. we're, come to we're all, I think we're all in Orlando and Toronto together. The, 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 dates, the dates of the new games have now, have now been decided, which is really yeah. exciting. All, all right, right, guys. Let's take care um, and uh, yeah. um, catch up soon. Let's do this again sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're good. good. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Cheers. Right, see, you. see you later. Please support Growing LMT Royal Channel by subscribe channel. Like and share videos are. Your support is the motivation for our to produce better videos. Don't stop. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.